What's up guys, it's Ugly Stew here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Doom Eternal. We are moving on to episode 4. We are still in Exultia. Um, in the last video, we began our trek through Exultia, searching for the Celestial Locator device. We ended up picking up a ton of new abilities and speed boosts that I'm still getting used to, but... It is ultimately making combat a million times more fun. We still don't have much for weaponry, but the game has been quite balanced so far with what we're given for ammo, weapons, and effective HP, so I'm not too worried about that right now. I am kind of scared on what this episode is going to bring us, because I have a strong feeling that there's going to be a boss fight at the end of this that I'm just going to struggle with, uh, but, I mean, we'll see what happens. I also did some reading about the lore of everything going on, and it's actually quite interesting. The history of the Sentinels and the birth of the world, it's all sort of similar to the lore of WoW, with, you know, the Titan and the elementals and such and I always found that stuff kind of interesting but uh, I'm sure it comes from some other fantasy source or even some polytheistic religion from years back I'm not an expert in it but it all sounds really cool I could talk more about the lore as we go but uh, to quote John Carmack here story in the game is like story in porn you expect it to be there but it's not that necessary <laughs> let's go ahead and continue I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video I'm not really too much in the mood to play right now. I know that seems bad, but I also don't know how well I'm going to play because the only FPS I've been playing has been Call of Duty. I have to, like, remember the controls of all this. Um, and my sensitivity in Call of Duty is a hell of a lot different than it is here, so I have to turn this down. I can't even hear myself talk. God. Oh, so we get a new gun. It is the plasma rifle. Seems awfully early to be given that, but okay. Um... Revenants. Fuck. But you can shoot their rockets off, which is cool. And they don't come back, either, so it's not like the turrets on the Arachnotrons, which I believe do. Those you can just snipe off, and then they just become melee creatures. That's kind of cool. But that does mean that we're going to encounter a Revenant here, so... Oh, wow, that wasted no fucking time. Alright, got one. Got two, okay. Oh, oh, okay, woo, I got him just in time. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, this is like moving too fast. <laughs> it is gonna take me some time to get used to. I just can't hit anything. Holy fucking hell! Fuck. I'm gonna die. No! Okay. Still alive somehow. I have to, like, remember these controls. Fucking Christ. What the hell was that? Oh, fuck. And I missed. This game, like, actually requires a lot of focus. It's very difficult to commentate and play this at the same time. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's not a creature. The fight isn't over. What do these portals do? Oh, they just teleport me to the other side. Okay. It's kind of like Quake. There's a secret there. I have to go from underneath it. We'll figure that out later. I need to kill shit first. Hey, there's some armor. I don't know if I want to take that yet. Oh, fight's over. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to take that. It would have been nice to have earlier. If I could figure out how to get up there. I was like just there. There we go. Okay, so we are full on health and armor right now. Let's figure out how to get the secret. So the way I am looking at it, I have to come from the other side of it. It looks like there's an entrance underneath, so... Let's hope I can actually grab this one and not fail miserably. Did I kill everything over here? Oh, there's a secret entrance over by this claw-looking thing. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Guessing I have to use this. What the fuck? Well, let's go get that secret real quick. Um... underneath here. Oh, there it is. Hey, that one was easy. At Doom's Gate album. Some vinyl. It's funny how there's just a random vinyl in the middle of a uh, post-apocalyptic shithole. Ugh. I gotta go in here. <laughs> so this like kind of like slows you down. Oh! I don't like that. Dude, those hit way too hard and they come up so quick. And I don't know if I can dash backwards. Nope, I can't dash in here. I think I need to use the plasma rifle for this. generous enough to give us some health pots. I can't even jump in here. It, like, sticks ya. It's like the inside of a cacodemon's asshole that we're in right now. Fucking hell, man! Come on with these fucking things! Ugh. What is this, a mini-map? Auto-map, yeah. And there's a one up here, and a weapon upgrade, so I can upgrade my plasma rifle. That's kind of cool. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I gotta go all the way around. Damn it. You know, I have been sniping quite a bit in Call of Duty, so maybe I can try quick scoping. Maybe I'll play better with that. I don't know, we'll see. Okay. So what was the other upgrade on the chain gun again? The micro missiles? <laughs> I mean, those might help a lot. I think I used those a lot in Doom 2016, but what do we have for the plasma rifle? We have heat blast. Firing the plasma rifle builds up excess heat. It can be released. That's kind of cool. A microwave beam. So it's like a... Oh! That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to go for that. Also, that makes it so I don't have to aim. And for someone who's really bad at this game... I mean, I still kind of have to aim, but... There is but... a sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path forward. Aha. There's gonna be a fight as soon as I jump out of here, I fucking know it. No, maybe not. Let's go fill up on health pots. Okay. It's a big me hand. Oh, okay, well that works. Dude, that lava flow looks incredible. Just everything about this looks nice. Like, there's so much tension to detail here. Like, this little gore. I even like the colors in the Cacodemon's asshole area. Um, yeah, just all of this looks really fucking nice. So where do I have to go? I have to go up. There we go. Codex for oh part two of the history of the Sentinels. I'll be reading that on my own time. That's not what I wanted to do. Oops. Oh, you know what? I should have fucking done that to fill up. Is there like nothing beefy out here? I guess I'll just practice my quick scoping. Is that it? Um. Not falling down there yet. 
So that's where he came from. Right? Yeah. Oh, I haven't been checking for secrets. Oops. No, we're good. I grabbed the one up. Grab the codex. We're good for a little while. Okay. What is this? Might have to drop down there. That's what it looks like. Wait, how the fuck do I get back up? platform down below, right there. Oh, that's a secret. Soul Sphere! Oh, so the Soul Sphere actually doesn't give you 200 health, so I just fucking wasted that. I didn't know it just fills up your health and uh, armor. Well, now I gotta figure out how the fuck to get back up there. Wouldn't have been a dead end, right? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Nope. Oh! I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I like the soundtrack, by the way. Aha! Oh my god, that's really difficult to do. <laughs> then I'm guessing this is gonna weaken fucking hell. I'm just scared. I feel like everything's a fucking trap in this game. Even though I don't think we've really encountered traps. It's like you know when a fight is coming. Whoa. Look at that fucking detail. Look at that shit. This is this is all live, dude. This is a, this is nuts. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to do some quick scoping again. This is going to be a... Oh wow, this is going to be a tough fight. I don't know what that symbol means up there. That pink thing. All right, let's do this. I think that was a... Uh, yep, that's an Arachnotron. Let's see how this works. Ah, it freezes them! Oh! Oops, I had to keep firing. Oh, I just got an achievement. Oh, fuck! Oh, there's a, some beefy fucking monsters I have to fight. I'm just gonna run around, try to... Okay, I think I got one of them. Yes, got both of them. Let's go. Luckily, the Revenants are not very beefy, not like the Arachnotrons, that's a lot of shit over there. Oh, and the Arachnotron is shooting again. And there's a fucking Hell Knight, oh my god! I need some, like, not so... there we go. I have to keep remembering that my shift is dash, or dash is on SHIFT! FUCK! I'm so used to shift being sprint. I didn't know if there were two of them. Die already, you pussy fuck! Oh my god, this requires so much fucking focus. Can you glory kill something? That works. Come on, die already! Fucking hell. Oh my god. Can't forget about him. Oh shit, am I dead? I'm dead. Of 
course, all my health just went into the lava pit. Fucking hell, dude. Good thing I got that extra life. Oh, there's a fucking another one. Oh, I'm dead as fuck, dude. I'm getting my shit pushed in. I have to get a good snipe off on that, like, that Arachnotron. That's the only way I'm gonna beat this. Oh, let's go! Wow, he just sidestepped that grenade like a pro. Oh, is that two Arachnotrons? Go fucking figure, dude. Dude, this is this is too hard. This is like way too fucking hard. Like, how the fuck is someone supposed to beat this? This is insane. And I, I think I'm all out of health too, so I have to rely on my uh, my flame belch. Here. Oh, there's some health. What the fuck was firing at me? Should have belched him. These arachnotrons are fucking insane, dude! That's lava. That's gonna kill me. alive. I'm not using my flame belch because R is in a very weird spot right now. There's too many buttons to be hitting. That was the hardest fight yet, by far. There was so much shit I had to kill. And this game is going to get harder. But I do have four extra lives that I'm sitting on, which is great. I only used one during that fight. Wow, let's go around and scavenge some goodies. I don't know. I'm not worried about it right now. It doesn't look like it's a secret, so I don't really care. No. 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 Curious to see how many uh, sticky bombs it takes to kill one of these. That's number seven. So it takes seven sticky bombs to kill an Arachnotron. That is so tanky. I have to start doing that in between fights. Like, I legit have to. Um, can I get over there? Well, it looks like a objective that I have to do, so. Let's see what, uh, dash refill. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh my god, dude, I'm still sweating after that last fight. That was brutal. Oh, hello, Cacodemon. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, no, no, not anymore. Yo, catch. I've not been checking for secrets. Oh! Maybe I can get up to that uh, that other fight now. Or whatever the fuck that symbol is. It looks like it's going to trigger another fight. It's, uh... I think it's up there by the objective. Yeah, it's like I go to the objective and then I jump down. Okay. 
It's like, yeah, remember that fight I just did? Do it again. <laughs> right? Yeah, I just go right there. No, 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 no. What is that? Secret encounter. Timed encounters hidden in the world. Any resources spent in the secret encounter will not be restored afterwards. If you run out of time and fail, you can retry. Well, I wish I knew what it was before activating it. You motherfucker. Ooh, lost souls. Oh, oh. Whoa. Secret encounter completed. I don't know what just happened. I, I, a lost soul, I, I saw a lost soul, everything exploded, and then it said it completed. I don't know what just happened, okay? I'm gonna have to watch that at, like, half speed. <laughs> because I am so confused. But okay. At least I know what that symbol means now. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have no health and armor now. Thank you. Blast a hole right through that carcass. That's like a bridge. I'll take that. Works for me. Oh, I better not encounter more of those fucking tentacle motherfuckers. Uh, you sure I'm supposed to go down here? Like, hold on. Does that? Do I really need that celestial thing? Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Alright, well, we definitely know we're gonna encounter more of those tentacle things. I should know to take out the plasma rifle by now. Plasma rifle is three, that's so weird. That one caught me off guard. Should have flame dodged him. Oh. Oh shit, I can't jump. I can't dash either. What the fuck was I supposed to do there? Alright, if I can manage to get through this fight, we're calling it a fucking day. Yeah, I had enough of his shit. Armor. All right, not gonna lie, that purple stuff sucks. Got him with the quick scope. Right, I'm not going back in there. All right, I'm gonna belch him. There's still more stuff I have to kill? Yeah, it's still red here. I'll belt you too. No, nope, it's still recharging. It's got ways to go too. Oh, it was just him. Okay. That fight wasn't that bad. We are at 25 minutes. Well, we'll keep going for a little longer. No, 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 no. No, you come here. I'm not fighting you in that. I could have swore I shot that fucking turret off, too. Now I did. Yeah, no, not fucking having that shit. Not fighting you there, dude. Keep trying to reload. Oh, hey, that's out of ammo. Should probably chainsaw him then. Whew, 
I am admiring all of the colors and the detail and stuff, but this purple stuff really is not fun. Can I get up there? No, because I can't jump. Maybe I can go around this way. No, okay. So now I'll walk my ass around the other side. Dude, this game got me shaking. These fights are not easy. Next checkpoint, I'm taking a break, man. <laughs> what did that reveal, get up though? Up there, but how do I get up there? Oh, hey, I didn't see that thing, it like blended in. Fuck! Keep forgetting I have dash on shift. Thank you, that's what I was looking for. A little lantern thing. This looks, this looks like a trap. We're just tearing apart this thing's body. Okay. Um, I think I have to get on top of that gun. Oh, wait, no, I can do that. <sighs> Forgot jumping would help. I didn't have any secrets over there, did I? Doesn't look like it. I was expecting a tentacle to, like, smack me out of midair there. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I want it. Oh, Sentinel Crystal. Let's go. Okay. So what do I want more? Health, armor? I think I'm good on ammo. Um, what have I been using? This napalm belch has actually been a waste of time. Because I don't use it on the heavy and super heavy demons. I might take loot magnet. No, obviously my cooldown for Flame Belch. Ah, oh, either that or Loot Magnet. Probably the cooldown. Do I want health or armor? So, armor in this game doesn't actually mitigate. It just acts as a secondary health pool. I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, either one of these, I guess it wouldn't really matter. If it goes... I guess it depends on how much it actually upgrades. I'm guessing it's based off of a percentage of the standard. So, I think health would be a little bit more beneficial right now. I'm going to go with that. No! No! Fucker! I don't even know how much max health I have now. Maybe 125? I, I don't know. I don't know what I had before. I got hit. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for this fight. You know what? Fuck it. After this, we're done. I might just start using just the, strictly the plasma rifle on the Arachnotrons because I'm struggling with them so much. Oh, I got him! <laughs> oh, this thing's got some kick to it. I don't know what that thing is. Um, where do I gotta go? Just anywhere down there, it looks like. I don't know what that purple thing is. Alright, 125 is my max health, okay. That blood punch is dirty. I didn't think I was actually gonna be using it, but... Oh, wow, he's hurting already. Ha! No! Oh, that was terrible timing! Oh, no! Holy fucking shit! 
Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> I was so confident there. Oh. Please just get me a checkpoint so I can get out of this hell. Please. Oh. Okay. So that brought me up here. So this is back where I started. Where do I need to go then? Oh, okay. And then... That falls down, right? So I need to... Jump on that. Wait, what the fuck? I came from there. I need to somehow get up there. Maybe there's a jump pad around there, and then I could boop boop. Which way is that? Nope. 180. Aha! Okay. No, 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 no! Who, please be stronger! No! Fuck! <laughs> oh, no! That armor went to fucking waste. <laughs> oh, I really wish my gun was just a little stronger. Uh, that was a gargoyle. Yeah, whatever. You don't scare me. Sticky bombs are just way too good. Okay, so I think I know what I have to do here. I'm curious to see what this is, though. Slayer Key. Unlock a nearby Slayer Gate. Completing all six Slayer Gates unlocks, is, unlocks access to the Unmaker in the Fortress of Doom. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that another time. How's that? I'm gonna take a break here. Oh my god. Dude, this game is getting so ridiculously difficult. Like, I am totally regretting doing this A, blind, and B, on ultraviolence. People even warned me. They were like, Strew, you should probably start the game off on Hurt Me Plenty. And I was like, nah, I'm good. I got this. Ultraviolence. I'm good at shooters, remember? I'm really not. And this is proving it. So in this episode, we just died a lot and killed a lot of Arachnotrons. That's what it felt like. This was more just Arachnotron hell. I'm getting better at fighting them, I'll admit that. I'm determining their health pool a little bit better. Um... That Cacodemon trap was brutal. <laughs> I don't even have words there. Um, but yeah, I can't think straight right now. So I'm going to stop this video. And um, I have a checkpoint. I will go over a few more things before my next video. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye.